bot teasers, bot trophies, and more bot trophies. It's the grand final of BattleBots in this week in Robot Combat. Hello and welcome to This Week in Robot Combat, thank you once again for joining me. Now, I'm going to give you a big old spoiler warning because we're going to be discussing the grand final of BattleBots today, so if you haven't watched that episode yet, then don't watch on in this video, come back to it afterwards, otherwise it'll all be ruined for you and you'll only have yourself to blame. So without further ado, let's get on with the news. Yes, we crack straight on with the BattleBots 2020 World Championship. The round of eight began with matches between Hydra and Whiplash, Tantrum and Sawblaze, Shatter and Endgame, and Ribot and Black Dragon. Very fast, very frenetic, could have gone either way. All of these fights, very close indeed, and everything you expect from a round of eight. Congratulations to all the teams that got this far, but further congratulations to the two teams that made it through to the grand final, Whiplash and Endgame. And here, it was an absolute domination of Endgame over Whiplash, getting them out of the arena and winning the tournament. Well done to Endgame, the first of the modern reboot BattleBots international champions taking the giant nut home to New Zealand in a year that wouldn't allow international travel, but they managed it. For the first time, BattleBots showed the award ceremony for the three giant bolts this year, and of course the introduction of a new trophy. First of all, the most destructive robot this year was awarded to Valkyrie. Very well done to them. The Founders Award to Scorpios for everything that they do inside and out of BattleBots. A mini nut was awarded to Rusty as the best newcomer for 2020. Congratulations to them, I'm very happy. And finally, the best design award, renamed in memory of Grant Imahara, who passed away last year, was awarded to Team Chomp for that wonderful walking piece of art. Well done to them. This week saw the Witch Doctor Bounty Hunters episode, and if you haven't checked it out already, be sure to go and check it out over on Discovery Plus exclusively. Excellent fights between Pain Train and Sub-Zero. We also saw a good clash between Tracer and Malice. There was an excellent fight between Valkyrie and Extinguisher. And finally, Slapbox and Huge went at it with new stealth wheels on Huge. Very cool indeed. If you've enjoyed this season's BattleBots, you'll enjoy them even more as you get to play them in this new pack released on Robot Rumble 2. There's been a lot of work gone into the 2020 season pack. You can see these look excellent. Be sure to check that out. Now, two more teams have applied for BattleBots in a potential 2021 season. First of all, the Extinguisher team have set in their application. And a UK team, once again, Team ARC, have applied with a robot called Broadside. We know nothing about what this robot will look like, but needless to say, we're excited should they be accepted. Now, the Mobius team have been showing off a little bit of work that they've been doing on their new robot. Should they be accepted into this season of BattleBots this week over on Instagram? And two out of Deathflamingo have shown off their new weapon gear ratio setup. It looks very beefy indeed. This week we've seen some new photos of Soothslayer, at least the CAD of Soothslayer, showing off some little teaser images of what it might look like. Very exciting. The Drizzlebot store has been completely changed entirely to a monsoon shop. A new shop popped up. This is it. They sell clothing accessories and also robot parts. Be sure to go and check them out if you're interested in any of that stuff. We love a bit of monsoon over here in the UK. Let's rain down the pain. A very happy birthday goes to Bristol Bot Builders. The organisation turned three this weekend and we are very happy that they are still around with us. They brought nothing but good things to the community. An excellent shop where you can buy robot parts to build easy robots. You've seen that I've done videos on my channel. If you want to go and check them out, you can. A little bit of a plug there, but also make sure to be in the loop of what Bristol Bot Builders are doing because it's always fun, it's always entertaining. Happy birthday, Bristol Bot Builders. And finally, I announced late last night that the second annual Robot Combat Awards are on their way. These awards will cover all of 2020 as there wasn't much, but we wanted to capture BattleBots 2020 in this as well, which means we needed to wait for it to finish first. And seeing as the final episode of BattleBots Bounty Hunters is this coming week, what better time to start thinking about this? Well, we've actually been thinking about it quite a lot, and we've decided that this year we want to involve you guys some more. There will be a People's Choice Award where you can nominate your favourite robot that competed at some point in 2020. So in the comments below, please write down 
which robot you think should be nominated for a People's Choice Award. It can be any weight class. All it has to have done is competed at some point last year. Thank you. And that's just about all for this week. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new. Be sure to check out World of Woodrow on Facebook where you can find links to all of this week's stories and any other news stories that may crop up in the weeks coming, the weeks past, you know, just any time. That's all, and I shall see you again next week. Bye-bye.